Hey everyone, uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, um, but I have something pretty exciting uh, to share with you guys. Um, the guys at Mikado USA were gracious enough to uh, send me one of the new V-Bar Neo Evos um, with uh, Pro Rescue, which is really cool. But um, this guy is here. It's here for testing. Um, it's here for setup, and I wanted to make a video um, from the beginning to show you exactly how to change from the original Neo to the Evo uh, using uh, V-Bar Control Touch. This is not an Evo. This is the same V-Control Touch that I've had since it came out. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that from the beginning. As you can see, the helicopter that I'm using is my trusty Logo 700. Um, great flying machine. Perfect. So <clears throat> I'm going to rip this thing down in front of you guys without break so that you guys can see exactly what it takes to get this thing done. Uh, so uh, forgive me for any mistakes that I make or any stuttering that I may do, but um, we're going to go through this. OK. All right. So the first thing is um, Evo is here, which is really, really cool. The box is identically the same. Nothing's changed as far as the box is concerned. Um, so open this guy up. It comes in the package with the V-Bar uh, Evo, as well as the um, uh, mounting pad for the, the fly barless unit itself. And um, as you can tell, it looks almost identically the same, except the USB port is slightly different. It's a, it's a USB-C port, I think that's what it is. Um, same amount of outputs on the outside, um, and the same telemetry ports on the side. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this and get it registered and uh, get this thing set up. So, first thing I need to do is I need to take the Neo that I have on my helicopter and uh, I need to save the file to my um, to my particular radio so that I can actually have this and not have to worry about the setup. So let me grab my battery. All right. So I got my battery, I'm gonna slide that in this guy here real quick. And the only reason I'm using the, the, the main pack is uh, A, I just charged it, and B, this will allow me to um, be, do a quick transition without having to unplug things and plug things back up again. So let's go ahead and um, let's get this guy fired up. Turn my radio on. So power up, ready to go. And get connected to the helicopter. Power up. Okay. All right. So it's set. As you can tell, I got a fully functioning setup on the helicopter. You see things moving, sticks, everything works like it should. All right. So now. What I need to do now is physically save the setup to my radio, which I've already done, but I'm gonna show you how to do this, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're going to slide to the left, all right, and you're gonna go down to model setup, okay? And then you go down to model tools, okay? And then you're gonna go save setup. And when you do that, it's gonna ask you to put a new name in. And if you've already named the helicopter when you do that, it's gonna come up as Logo 700, which is great. So then all you have to do is hit enter and it has saved that file to the radio. So your entire file, your setup file, your every gain you have, everything is automatically saved. Now if you wanna check it, you can just hit load setup, scroll down and you see logo 700 is right there on the, on the list at the bottom, okay? So you don't have to worry about that being gone. All right, so now we're gonna power down the helicopter. Okay. All right, so now it's all powered down, and now we need to get to the process of removing this Neo off the helicopter and replacing it with the Evo. A um, Couple things. One, um, this is also a video to show you how to properly remove an e a Neo from a helicopter without breaking the cases. A lot of people break cases and they say the V-bars have fragile cases and all that old stuff. I'm going to show you how to do it so you don't actually destroy the case on your helico on your uh, your Neo um, so you don't have to buy an aluminum case or anything like that. 
Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my antennas out of here so I don't put any strain on those guys when I lift up on the case. I'm gonna move my telemetry wire because I need that to be out of the way to do what I'm gonna do. Now what you need is a razor knife with a brand new blade. This is a sharp brand new blade. And all I'm going to do is lift up slightly on the case. I slide the blade underneath and move it until I get about halfway. And then the needle will peel right up. There'll be no damage to the case, no damage to the, to the wiring, no damage to anything. That'll allow me to put the new needle in spot without any issue. All right, so I'm trying to do this while I'm behind the camera. Just put a little bit of side pressure here. Just lift a little bit at a time. Let's make that a little bit smaller. A bit more. Okay, now it's going under, which is nice. See that? It's almost up already. One shot. Okay, I'm gonna lift. And when I pull this out, I'm gonna show you guys that the case isn't damaged or anything like that. And if it's not quite up, don't get crazy and force it. Just get all the way under it. Remove whatever rest of the stuff you have. Okay, now, because I don't have my my things marked, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the new Evo and I'm gonna transfer all the wires one at a time. That way I ain't gotta go through and try to figure out everything out, okay? Make it easier for me, I should say. Evo. Looks really cool, right? I'm really excited to see what the difference is in performance between these two, so. All right, so lift this guy up. Pull out the red, which I know is my RPM slash second BEC wire from the Scorpion. Take the time here. Lift that up. Okay, it's one out. Okay, I already know what that one's gonna be, so I don't have to really worry about that one. And I know what my ESC wire is gonna be. It's the cyclic servos that I have to be uh, careful with, I guess, because I really they're all black because they're expert, so I don't know which ones are which off the top of my head. It's been a while since I built this. All right, there's the ESC lead out and the tail. Okay. So now I got, excuse me, ESC and the um, uh, second lead. All right, so now I got my tail, channel one, channel two, and channel three. So let's go tail to tail. That's my tail. Plug this guy in the tail here. I want to also make sure you don't plug it in between the plugs. You actually want to plug it into the wiring, the spot that it's supposed to be for. Oh, that came unplugged. That wasn't good. Let's try this one more time. I think I did exactly what I told you guys not to do, is plug in between. There we go. Should feel a little resistance and a little pushing when you get that. Okay, that's the tail. It's channel one, which is the elevator right here. Negatives down on the Evo as well as the, the Neo, it's the same. Negatives are down. Let's recheck that just in case. Yes. Negatives down. So by the way, if you plug it in backwards, it's just going to you won't destroy the servo. It's built that way. So you won't actually blow, it, blow anything up. All right, two. And the last one. This is gonna be the third one. Negative down. Okay. It's channel three. So on the logo, which is HR3, um, that means the elevator 
is channel one, left aileron is channel two, right aileron is channel three. All right, so now that I got this done, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna plug in power for just to get power, but I'm not gonna plug the ESC lead in such that I don't have to worry about the ESC spooling up, okay? So I'm gonna plug the RPM wire in the top over here while I'm doing my setup here. I don't have to worry about it getting crazy. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so now the Evo is in place and it's ready for me to start programming, registering and all that old good stuff. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is register the Neo to my vstavy.info account. Now, so I have, um, I'm gonna be doing this video and trying to register at the same time. I don't have a second phone, so you guys can see what's going on, but I'm gonna show you <clears throat> on my radio exactly what's happening, okay? So, gonna power up the radio. Oh, before we get crazy here, I want to show you guys, let's see if we can zoom in on that. See, there's no broken tabs. Nothing's busted. Pull the uh, pull the knee off with no no issues at all. Okay, radio's powered up, ready to go. First thing I need to do is get this thing connected to Wi-Fi. So you can go to transmitter setup or settings. Me, I leave my Wi-Fi completely off unless I'm doing an update or I actually need the Wi-Fi. What that does is it prevents a unnecessary battery drain and b it also prevents any unwanted updates from happening and when you're not close to um, Wi-Fi and having a break in the signal and call it a failed update. Okay, so you go down here, Wi-Fi, and I hit run. It's gonna say initializing. And then after a second, you'll see the little, you can see the little Wi-Fi signal here. It'll go from that little hourglass, not hourglass, but the little inspector glass. It'll go typically yellow first and then green connected. There you go. So it says connecting, it'll say connected, which will be a red dot. Usually, well, it looks like they changed it to a green check. It used to be a red dot, which was kind of hard to understand, but at least it was there. But the auto service, the online service is always on when it's connected. But right now, I'm connected to Wi-Fi and ready to go. So what I need to do, power up the helicopter. I should get tones, but no power up. Okay. You can see the Neo is flashing right now, blue. Okay, now it's looking, you see it's green and green and red. So we're gonna hit this guy here. You should have Evo come up as the serial number right there. I hit that, it's gonna give me the, the connection here. All right, so I don't have any connection to the helicopter, which is why you hear the ESE screaming and the servo screaming. All right, so I know it's not gonna spool up. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect that main ESC lead up so this thing will basically just shut up, is all I'm saying. But at least the ESC will stop talking. So plug it up right here. That about the expert server is also having a getting upset times. Okay, so there's no valid signal right now because the first thing that comes up is this, and it says unplug motor cables to prevent spool up. So um, that's the one thing that I, I could do is just unplug two of the motor cables. I don't want to do that with the ESC live, so I'm just going to unplug that main lead one more time, real quick here. And that will allow me to get this thing done real quick. All right, so now, so we have to choose Mikado helicopter because it's a Logo 700. It's gonna ask you which one it is. I'm gonna go over to the Logo 700, hit select. It's gonna send the data. Gonna let that do its thing. I'm sorry about the servos going crazy there. But in a second, the servo should stop. Chirping. Okay. Servos are stopped. They're not yelling anymore, so it's basically just sending a valid signal to them. It knows that it's a basic setup. 
All right, now watch. You'll see all the servos. If you can kind of see them, they're kind of wacky, doing some wild stuff. In a few seconds, they'll be all done. This is Logo 700. All good to go. All right, so now, all you have to do is do a basic setup. You're just going to do a basic run through and then load your previous file. And then everything goes back to how it was before. So face up wire to the front, which is what that is. I uh, will just select that real quick so you can see what it looks like. If I want to change the rear, not, but right now it's wires. That means the servo wires are to the front, not the antennas. When it's talking about the wires, it's talking about the servo wires. Okay, clockwise main rotor because it's a logo 700. HR3, it knows all that stuff. Um, reverse, reverse, reverse normal. Like if I wanted to change that, just move the stick up. And you can see everything's moving like it should right now. But it's not in the something's not in the right spot there. So we'll get that fixed here in just a second. All right. So let's go tail servo. We know it's a 760 tail servo. We're not gonna do any of this stuff. V bar electric governor. I'm gonna exit this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to model setup, model tools, load setup load logo 700 and i'm gonna let that work all right so i'm gonna put my transmitter down it's gonna take a little while uh but this is a uh, really cool I'm, I'm really anxious to see the the performance difference between the the, the neo and the new uh evo you can tell the the v is much larger on the evo than it is on the the neo the the light so you can physically see what's going on which is really cool too so um we should be done loading here in a second. Bank one. Okay, we're still going here. Still going, still thinking. Here. Oh, see that's moving around. Let's power this down real quick and see what's going on. 